Hello everyone. A few months ago, we took the weekend out to camp at Tolman Badlands Heritage Rangelands with the goal of visiting the surrounding area, including Dry Island Buffalo Jump Provincial Park. We stayed at the Tolman East Campground, which is located on Highway 585, 19 kilometers east of Troshu. We have a very good spot. Lots of shade. Picnic table, lots of room. No fire pit. River is off in that direction. You can see across the river a bit. So there's no wood to be had at this campground, so we're gonna have to do the old fashioned route and collect some. As Donna mentioned, we did find a great site. However, I should let you know that the area is known as a party zone, and it did not disappoint with parties going late into the night. It all depends on what you're into, but not surprisingly, the site was not patrolled, and I never seen any Alberta Park staff at all when we were staying there. For the East Campground, which is where we stayed, there was 40 unserviced sites that run at about $25 per night. After setting up our camp, we took a walk around and enjoyed the surrounding landscape. Tolman has what is known as a Badlands landscape, and the area is in easy access from the campsite. For Alberta, these Badlands landscapes follow river valleys, and for Tolman, the Red Deer River. The ecosystem can be described as semi-arid, but I would kind of describe it as more of something between prairie ecosystem and semi-arid. We came back and enjoyed the rest of the day, but after a few hours, a storm front came in and we had to take shelter. The funny thing was, it was kind of nice because it drowned out the parties in the area. The other great thing was that uh, this was the first time the tent had actually really been tested and it came out very well. We stayed completely dry inside. It was a pretty rough night, and we were waking up fairly slowly. Clearing the cobwebs, we started the day. The forecast had it going up to 29 degrees Celsius, so we were trying to get a pretty early start to the day, just to try and avoid as much heat as possible. After our breakfast, we headed off to Dry Island Buffalo Jump Provincial Park. The park is located 103 kilometers southeast of the town of Red Deer and can be found along the Red Deer River. As the name indicates, this site was named after an ancient buffalo jump that was used by the Cree people. The other part of the name comes from a large plateau which is about 200 meters above the river which has never been touched by humans and retains a virgin prairie landscape. The park is also an important site for paleontological studies and features Albertosaurus bone beds. It should be noted that the road down to the river is fairly narrow, so please drive carefully. I was also told that the road can become quite muddy and sometimes is impassable during wet weather. The park is day use only, and it appears that any source of water has been recently taken away. We're done. No 
We set out on a hot 29 degrees Celsius day, but we were determined to see the park. At Dry Island, we found a lot of these colonies munching away at these leaves. Unfortunately, we were never able to find out what beetles these were. The site is semi-arid and is the start of the Badlands, and you will find many intermittent streams that fill up during heavy rains. You will also find many plant species that are found in hotter, drier climates, such as these cactuses. You can find many prairie grass species here, and being from the prairies, I really enjoyed seeing these fields. Unfortunately, outside of insects, we didn't see any other wildlife around here. It's been rumored that rattlesnakes can come as far north as this site, so it would have been kind of cool to see one, actually. But none of that deterred us, because it was an amazing landscape to hike through. I decided to follow this grasshopper for a minute, trying to get it to fly. We had these guys in Manitoba, but these ones make a much louder clicking sound. Or maybe a better description would be a much more constant clicking sound. After much trial and effort, I was able to finally capture one flying. Hopefully you can see it. Along our hike, we also found this survey marker from 1918. We went back to the river where we parked, but by that time there was a lot more people. Apparently this site is really popular for boaters. We couldn't help but notice that there seemed to be more people on the river than hiking through the park itself, but it could have been due to the heat. After a pretty hot hike, we went to Troshu to get some lunch. And after that, we took some time to visit their museum. The museum was small, but we found it was well put together with many interesting artifacts. We found this one pretty interesting with all its letters for the press. We were surprised to find one of the medals podiums from the Vancouver Olympics here. The podium was used at the biathlon and Trochu won the podium in a contest that supported Canada's Olympic athletes. Before going back to camp, we quickly toured this floral garden which used to be a local doctor's residence. Tick was a little green still. 
we decided to bake some bread, which I think turned out pretty well. It was a lot of fun just baking something on the fire, too. Mine has a little lasagna with meat sauce. Lyndon is eating the beef stroganoff with noodles. <laughs> it was really great despite how I look. It was getting to the end of the trip and I'm fearing that fatigue was setting in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this area of Alberta. Thanks so much for watching.